Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games for the Time. My name is Joachim and today I will be unboxing Wonderland's War. Uh, I removed my address details and so on, it's not necessary. And you can see these boxes, they've been through a bit. You can see some damage at the bottom here, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, so, you can see it's really well wrapped. Because you can even see these things, normally they're in the inside, right? The corner protection, but now they're on the outside. So it'll be quite a bit of a challenge to open everything. It's supposed to be standing up like this, okay? Uh, so this is how I'm going to open it now. Uh, but of course, I'll uh, fast forward a bit or just cut it out altogether and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so first look inside from the top looks like this well, this is already really heavy but I guess we'll see what's in there later then we have these two protection or cover stuff this is obviously nothing just cardboard That is what we like to see. Okay, so I'm going to put it on its side and then just put it up like that instead of trying to put it upwards. So, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. A small box, this is not. And also this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. And that is it. The rest of the box, you can see there's nothing else in here. This is some protection at the bottom, but that's it. So, a really nice wrapping job, to be honest. Packaging job, I should say. Okay, so that leaves us. That leaves us with this. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and then we will start box by box. Okay, so I'm mostly curious about this, even though I think it's going to be like some upgrades or coins or something. Now I have to say a little caveat, uh, I backed this, of course, in the deluxe edition on Kickstarter, but I do not remember what's included in everything. So, okay, so these seem like the uh, Plastic counters. First glance reminds me of the uh, gig, gig bits. So, open this huge bag. And Let's take a look. Here. These are really quite heavy, you know. Different types of coins. One like things, right? You can see different sets. It's very cool. I'm gonna put them on the side because I'm bound to have, I think there'll be some storage for it, to be honest. All right, next. It's also been a while since I have backed this game. So, and it's, it's feel really nice. Okay, cool. So it's been a while since I've backed this game, so I don't know exactly much about it anymore. And I do that on purpose because I like to be surprised. I guess this is off of their head. Oh, very nice. And the colors are really good. Quality is really cool. Yeah, they're really nice. Okay. 
keep them going. There's a lot of them. A lot, a lot of them. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I guess I could have just done the main box first, and then would have, the context would have been better. But who is what and so on, and what they're meant for. Yeah, these seem to be double sided. Oh no, it's not double sided. It's just some are green, some are purple. Mostly purple. You know the baggies a bit. Okay. And there are a lot of different ones in here. The clock, teapot, a bow, feather, a hammer, another type of feather, I guess. Crown of hearts. Okay. All right, glove as well, you can see in there. Yeah, a bunch of different stuff. Okay, there was a quick break because the baby woke up. For those who don't know, I just have a newborn, that's why. Let's just continue. So, let's take a look. These here, these are all the pups. And also, is it the Mad Hatter, I guess? Just guessing here, okay. And we have uh, four more bags, and then all the discs are done. Oh, these look really cool. Are there any fair variants here? Seems like they're all the same, they're all threes. Yeah. yeah. They're all very similar. Three more to go. These are some greens. Okay. No idea what this one is. Okay. And we have a blue one. Alice herself looks like nice. And then the final bag is this one. Thank you, this. Is the final one. The color is really nice, to be honest. It looks really cool. You have threes, you have ones. Only just the value changes. And that's about it. Okay, so that's all that was in this box. Okay. So just gonna go. And then we can take a look at the bigger boxes. Let's do the uh, big box first and this one later. All right. So, first of all, let's take a look. Wonderland's War, uh, Druid City Games, Skybound Tabletop. Deluxe edition. Let's take a look at the sides. So here's Alice. Let's zoom out a little bit. There she is. Two to five players, 25 minutes per player, 13 plus. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else on the other sides. There we go. Queen. Same information. The Mad Hatter. Alright. And then. This one, some kind of dragon. I don't remember this one at all, but uh, I'm not an expert on Alice in Wonderland. And then this is the back. All right, let's zoom in, zoom in again to the back of the box. So, Wonderland's War, draft your abilities, build your bag, fight for Wonderland. Okay, cool. 25 minutes per player, two to five. All right, so let's open this. 
carefully. I don't want to damage the box. There we go. open this baby up will there be art in the box in the cover i don't think so i could be wrong but i don't think so i hope i'm wrong but we'll see i'm not wrong there's no art in there too bad okay there's already some stuff here some extra stuff this is the catalog i'm not gonna spend any time on that um then we have Wonderland's War here. Make sure you're up to date with any additional resources, including the latest rulebook release and bonus downloads for Wonderland's War. You can check it there, scan the QR code. Okay, good information. And then this is a deck of cards, promo card pack. So let's open it up. So the backs are all the same. Front, you have the Duchess. We have the March Hare. You have the Unicorn. The White Rabbit. And the Griffin. Okay, interesting. And then we have the rule book. So let's, and I also see here, once again, the people who are uh, responsible for this, the Ben Eisner, Tim Eisner, Ian Moss, and Lenny Trembley. Now, if you want to know who are the designers, who uh, do the art and so on, you can always check in the description, description below, because I always link them. All right, so let me zoom out a bit. You see, very big rule book. But it looks nice, the colors and everything. There's some glare of the lights, sorry about that. Setting up the games, you can see it looks pretty cool. Uh, but once we reach the board, I will display it as well. Ah, the green one is a Jabberwock. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Nice, big examples. Always really good. Tea party card effects. Ally card effects. Leader effects. The Jabberwock, Mad Hatter, Red Queen, Alice, and Cheshire Cats. The war phase, battle out outcome, battle example, it's really nice, a really big example of the battle. And second example, I like it when they provide enough examples. And then quest examples apparently, and two player rules. And then glossary. FAQ and your ability clarifications and you finished with what I love, absolutely love, the uh, overview of the battle from iconography and keywords. Okay, so I'll put this here and then I'm going to take another quick break because I don't know if you can hear it, but my daughter is crying. Hop. So that was the rule book and uh, next up are the bags. So as you probably know, uh, the game is a bag builder. So there you go, the different bags. They're pretty cool. The uh, quality seems nice as well. You can see inside it, right? Okay. So printing is the quality. So I guess in the end, all those will go in here. I'm not going to put anything in there yet. Uh, save, save that for later. Jabberwock. Mm -hmm. and Alice herself. Nice vibrant colors. These are more tokens that all look very nice as well. These are like pink cats. I'm definitely going to have to give this away for my eldest daughter. She's only four, but anything pink is like a magnet. 
some of these little guys. Cool, cool, cool. Well, eventually they will all be removed from their bags as well. I'm sure there's storage for them too. Okay, nice. But I'm not going to start removing the nuts. Even though I apparently struggle with putting them back in the bag. But anyway, this I'm not going to open, okay? These are just standees. It's a bit useless. Here we have some gems, just white transparent ones, crystals, we have smaller black ones, really love these, okay, pretty cool. The soldiers, the cards, And then some teapots. Yeah, and it's all pretty, pretty, pretty. I mean, it, it it has good weight. It doesn't feel cheap at all. I'm not gonna open this. Okay, these are just simple tokens. Here as well, these are just cubes. I mean, cube, uh, just some cubes. That's it. This I think I just could throw away. Ooh, oh, this looks nice. Alright, now what I like about the box is you have an opening here so you can easily lift it up and take it out. Okay, so I'm going to do this and I'll put this in the middle. Now let's take a look. Now you can see there's like it, there's more than one of each, right? So I'm just going to show you one. A really nice house. Now, I like to paint, but I hardly have time, so I don't know if this will ever get painted, but you can definitely make something really pretty out of this. So I'm guessing everybody will have their own buildings. Yeah. Really nice. Okay, and the blue ones. There we go. The pink ones look absolutely fantastic. Cheshire cat. Very nice. Must have been really fun to make this game and then check all the sculpts and everything as it progressed. Really, really cool. Nice. I just hope the gameplay has the same reaction. Inside for a minute, and here we have all the minis. Sword. There we go. I believe this to be Alice. Yeah, the minis are nice. This is the Queen of Hearts. Nice details. Okay, definitely, if these are painted, they'll definitely look very nice. Humpty Dumpty. Very cool. He has his cracks and everything. <laughs> okay. Cheshire Cat. Lost his head. The Mad Hatter. Very nice. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. With his, I can't see his clock though. I guess he's just joining the tea party. There we go. Yeah, the detail on these are really, really cool, actually. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Yeah. Like half of these people I don't even know, to be honest. <laughs> it's been ages since I've read Alice in Wonderland. Well, you know, maybe this will motivate me to read it. Oh, this is funny. Standing on his ears, upside down. On the chair. Oh, this one looks cool. Really nice. Loving the details and everything. Really nice sculpts. Oh, and the cups. Oh, the cups. And there's a mouse on top of it. Nice. The unicorn. The griffin. Very nice. Oh, look at the axe. And the badonkadonk. <laughs> the jabberwock. Very, very nice sculpt. This makes me want to paint, but I have absolutely no time to paint, sadly. Very cool. Very cool. Just look at the back stuff and everything. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so these are the minis. Let me put this back on. And you can hear it as well. It clicks in there very nicely. I'm going to make some room and put it here. And then next up, we have the tail for tea time. Oh, this is a whole storybook. Nice. Okay, I will read this at the end. I'm not going to do it now. I'll keep it on the side. Let's see what else is here. This looks like art. Let's see. Madness, the only resource worth losing your head over. Yeah, these are just pictures, but really nice ones. The Jabberwock. Yeah, all the main characters, basically. Beautiful art. Yeah, very nice. That's what I like about these deluxe editions, especially if you forget and you don't know what's coming, then you can be surprised all over again. We really like it. Then we have the game board here. Okay, I'm gonna press pause and I'm gonna put the game board here so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the game board. It looks really nice. You have the battle track, the whole table, the pool of tears, meadow of living flowers, the Tolgi, Tolgi woods, the red keep, Whitsend. Really, really, really nice. Um, now I'm gonna cover some space of it again because I need some space to do the unboxing to continue it. So. Here we go. Let's see what else we have not checked yet. These boards. So basically your board. Now, same thing. Um, well, not, I was going to say this is also very thin, but it's kind of double though. Like, for example, think about um, Arc Nova. Think about um, uh, Great Western Trail. They have all very thin boards. This is, this is a little bit sturdier. Still thin, but a little bit sturdier. So these are your characters, uh, the uh, abilities, I guess, that you can unlock, leader strength, and uh, so on. Is this different or not? Seems to be the same. But it could be, could be that I'm missing something. 
four, five, six. This is four, five, seven. And here we have four, five, six. So it is a little bit different. Can't see where the difference is shown. Mirror breaker and sharing the matter. So yeah, it is different. Okay. So the Jabberwock who has fearsome maul. And the other side also has fearsome maul. Okay. All right. And the Queen of Hearts, the Red Army, and on the other side, also Red Army. Okay, so maybe it's just that one that's different. It's, or obviously different. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. And then Hatcher. Yeah. And then, of course, Alice's Rebellion. Phase Reflection, and Curious Strength. So she also has a different one. I'm sure the other ones are different too in certain ways, but I'm not going to go into that now. Here, of course, is some room for some of the chips, I'm sure. There is, I didn't see any uh, reboxing guide or whatever, what it's supposed to go where. So we'll see a bunch of baggies here, of course, that's very obvious. Then we have the cards, uh, quite a number of them, you can see a lot of decks. So uh, let's go over them. And it seems like it's going to be quite easy to open, which is always appreciated. Especially since I just recently cut my nails. Okay. So, hot. so these are all quest cards, as you can see. So most of the time I'm just looking at cards for the art. Okay, I'm not going to go over what the quests do. Art-wise, uh, not much. Just to see some blue. Here's some other stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess to do with the people, maybe. No, I'm just guessing. So just end game scoring cards, seems like. Okay, that was quick and easy. This deck. I just heard my daughter. So I have three daughters. Uh, four years old, one and a half, and one month and three days. So the one crying, you know who that is. Okay, so these cards are... Oh, this is the back, I guess. More quest cards, wager cards, not all wager cards, okay. So, okay, some more quests. And the wagers, I think these will always be the same. I guess you're betting on maybe who wins. That would be a mechanic maybe, I don't know. Because you're wagering, right? You're betting in some way. Okay, cool. Let's look at the rest. I'm loving how easily these card packs open. There's the little things, you know? There's the little things. Okay, so this is the back. There's all A's. And then reference cards. So the reference cards first. Basically, you know, just play raids, right? Very simple. And the A's are, I guess, some kind of items. So we have the Forge, Card Soldiers, Flamingos, Roses, Red Rook, and Creatures. Okay, so that was a short interruption of my daughter crying. Now, it's a good thing actually, because she cried, I had to go out, walked around with her, and then I looked at the box sideways, and that showed something. First, I'm going to take out the things that I still need to show you, and take out the bags. There's one die that might fall out, first the die, here's the die. It says shards or something. Okay. And then, if you look at it like this, there is some beautiful art, as you can see. Here as well, very nice art. And here too, but then, of course, I was wrong when I said, no way how to rebox it. It's actually all here. And look, this is shard die, so they are shards. Cool. So it does say where everything is supposed to go. So these two that were empty there and the, here underneath are actually additional storage. That's cool. 
So as I was cleaning up, I realized that I have to take this part out as well because there's a bunch of stuff underneath it. So this is one, which is a nice overview of waging war and battle and so on. Tea party is basically a big overview. Only one though, so you have to pass it around. And another reason why I realized it is because some of the pieces I didn't know I didn't have basically. So I'll put this to the side. So obviously the discs I'll have, but then this one and this one of course I don't have, this I don't have. And uh, the shields I think these are. So of course those things I probably still all need. Well the discs I don't. But they do recommend um, to leave it in the box to make sure everything still has the lift and everything. I mean, uh, steady base, I guess. So, uh, these things can be removed. Everything else I already have in the form of the discs, of course. Same here. Just the, I think this is nothing actually. Most likely nothing. There we go. Yep. And then we have all the standees. I think I will give that to my daughter to uh, play with, to be honest, because I have the miniatures, so these will not be necessary at all. In this case, uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. All right. So that's something that I forgot. Uh, so yeah, let's go back to the unboxing. All right. So let's take a look at the last remaining cards. And then this unboxing is almost over, except the fact that there's still one more box to go. It's not almost over. <laughs> there's one more box to go. And I was going to check the book, right? For those who are interested, I'm going to leave that at, for the very last part. So another reference card. So I'm going to put that with the other reference cards. More. These are actually, these are, I guess, the other, even more player turn, player aids. War phase, tea party turn. Okay, and these are all W's instead of A's. So, white rabbit, caterpillar, duchess, dorm, dormouse, knave of hearts, griffin, unicorn, walrus, carpenter, humpty dumpty. March Hare, Tweedles, Amulet of the Duchess, Crown of the Knave, Lock of Unicorn Hair, Hammer of the Carpenter, Dormouse's Teapot, Tweedles' Bowtie, Feather of the Griffin, Humpty's Glove, Walrus's Monocle, Watch of the White Rabbit, Mar March Hare's Biscuit, and Caterpillar's Hooker. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. And then we still have these uh, smaller decks of cards. Oh, watch out when you open it. Watch out when you open it with your nails. Well, these are all be sleeved anyway, so it won't make a difference. Okay, I'll get back to this in a second. My daughter has once again awoken. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, one of the three final decks. So these cards, <coughs> they have all these numbers on them, Roman numerals. So this is three. And then, I guess maybe when you get this, when you draw this, you get these items. It's not much to look at, to be honest. You know, just different special abilities. Place a weak allied chip from the supply into your forge track, stuff like that. Okay, nothing too crazy. I guess this will just go here. Then this is number one. So I imagine these are just similar things, but then weaker. I'm not sure. I'm just, you know, I said I haven't played before. Looking forward to, uh, to definitely dive into it though. For sure. Now you might hear my daughter in the background. I'm afraid my wife is taking care of her now. So as long as it doesn't get too loud. <laughs> I'll continue this. Fun fact, I started 
doing this unboxing at uh, around midnight, I think. It is now 3 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, okay, so that's all done. I'm going to move stuff into the box and then we still have one box to uh, unbox, all right? So uh, I'll be right back. Uh, I'll be back soon. Well, it doesn't really matter because you guys see this instantly anyway. So this is the final box. I already took the wrapper off. You can see the art is really super nice. In the back, it says this. Let the games begin. I then reached down deep and pulled from the depths of Wonderland a token of war that all knew. No one had seen it since it supposedly left the Jabberwock with fewer heads than he currently has. The Vorpal Blade. It erupted from the ground calling all forward. But who will make the first move? I can't wait to find out. Okay. So, how do you open this? Not like this, but on the front. And then this is the storage for all the discs, basically. And also, this is cool as well. So, and it says here exactly what goes where. And that is actually the final part of this unboxing. I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to use it in a second. Now I'm going to read this book. Okay, I said I would read it, but I'm not going to read it because it's uh, too long and uh, it's too difficult with my daughter. So I'm just going to leaf through it, show you all the uh, art, and then that'll be it. If you really want to have a reading, you can always say it in the comments and then I'll, I'll uh, dedicate a separate video to it. Okay, so just enjoy the art because it's definitely very, very, very nice. See, it looks really, really cool. The Mad Hatter. Off with whose head? I really love the mood that changes to doom. Jabberwock, Snicker Snack. Of Cabbages and Kings. Sideways. Smoke and Mushrooms. Late Red Sunrise Painting the Roses Red Tumult and Toji Catnip. You see, the art is really amazing. Ten Six Croquet, No Way Wait for Me. Forge of War, Wings of Wind, Alice in Wasteland, Shattered, Castles in the Sky, and then let the games begin. And here, I'll read this one. In the spring of 2016, Manny Tremblay drew what would become the style guide piece of art after hearing James Hudson say he wanted to make a game in the world of Alice in Wonderland. Little did Manny know that he was about to join an incredible team of game designers in making a unique game that would capture the joy and madness inherent in a Wonderlandian tabletop game experience. This is that art, and the rest, as they say, is history. Yep, very nice. Definitely a masterpiece okay so that is the end of the unboxing of wonderland's war the uh, deluxe edition i hope you enjoyed it and please do follow uh, the channel subscribe like comment all that kind of stuff all right i was joachim this was so many games in a little time thank you very much and uh, we'll see you next time all right bye bye